in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made these two canvases on a wall as a complete beginner. And as you will see throughout this video, I was a complete beginner. I had no clue what I was doing, but I watched thousands of videos on TikTok and on YouTube on how to create like nice canvases. And this is the end result. And yeah, stay tuned. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to quickly move you to where there was better lighting because I wanna show you everything I used to create this and everything you'll need if you want to create it too. Because some of the things I bought and I actually didn't use. So these are everything I've actually used now I've made the canvases. So obviously the first one canvases, I got mine from Hobbycraft but I imagine you can get them from any like craft store. Next, and probably one of the most important things is air drying clay. I use six packs in total for the canvases. Also use some tin foil. Use sellotape as well, but I can't find my sellotape, so sellotape is another thing. I also got greaseproof paper just to protect the table when I was rolling the clay out and I got a roller. Then in terms of the clay, you do want to use some water with it. And then I also got this which is actually an old makeup brush. Obviously you can buy a brush that's more designed for working with clay, but I just used a makeup brush and it worked fine. Then I had cracks in mine, so I then bought some polyfiller. I don't have any to show you. I'll try and get a picture here of what polyfiller looks like. Then I also used super glue just to try and help with some of the cracks. And then to paint the canvases, obviously a paintbrush. I used this acrylic paint from Hobbycraft again. Then I just bought these just to create the little texture on the paint. In terms of hanging it up, I just bought this picture frame kit. So yeah, that is everything you'll need if you want to recreate this. I will leave all the links below and yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, I'm just gonna put on the tin foil to make the base on the canvas. So I've just put all the tin foil on now. I've just kind of placed it on quite loosely. So I'm just gonna use some sellotape to kind of stick it down underneath. And then obviously once I put the clay on, it'll stay anyway. But for now, I just kind of want to make sure it's quite secure. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And Hello, so a little time has passed now. I've just had my lunch and I've got the canvases ready. So I've got this one ready, which you saw me do. And then I've also done the second canvas, which is over there. And now I'm onto the clay. I am a bit scared because I've never worked with this clay before. So I'm, I'm a bit scared how it's going to turn out. Start it now and I shall film me rolling out the um, clay and popping it on. So yeah, stay tuned. Just got some wipes handy. I feel like already it's going to get everywhere. Just to see how it goes. Seeing people say to knead the clay first. So it's a bit more easy to mould. It's quite sticky. I have just rolled my first bit of clay out. It did peel off the baking paper a little bit, so I'm gonna have to put a bit more down for that. But yeah, I'm about to put it on the canvas and this is how thick I've done it. Online, it just sounds kind of said to smooth it out with your hands. So that is what I'm going to try and do. Oh gosh. Okay, so the first section is done. I mean, it does need to smoothen out a little bit more like here. I do feel like the textured paint is gonna hide any flaws that I have in it. So yeah, this is the first section. I'm now gonna do some more. I'm gonna try and do a bigger piece this time. I have just changed over the baking paper. Hello, so I am still molding away. Um, this is where I've got up to so far. And I just wanted to show you this because this is two packets of the air drying mold. So originally I bought four packets and I thought that would be more than enough. However, it's not. So I'm gonna keep going at this canvas. Um, and I actually feel like it would probably take another two packets or maybe like a packet and a half. So then I'm gonna nip out to Hobbycraft to get some more for the second canvas. Um, but yeah, it's going okay so far. Um, I'm more just intrigued to see how it'll dry. Um, but yeah, it is taking me quite a while as well. But I feel like 
it will look nice once it's done so yes so i've now finished putting mold onto the first canvas this is how it looks so i'm going to leave that to dry now i have heard it's best to put a bin bag or a bag over it so that it can dry a bit slow because i think if it dries too fast it'll get cracks i'm going to nip to hobby craft now to get more mold for the second canvas and yeah i'm going to do that tonight i probably won't film it but i'll show you tomorrow how it is once it's dry hello so a few days has passed now the clay has fully dried on both canvases it took a lot longer than i thought i thought it would dry in like two days but it took around four to fully dry and we've hit a slight obstacle so there's cracks in the clay which at first i said i didn't mind the cracks in the clay because i want it to look textured anyway however the cracks are quite big like a lot bigger than i thought and my worry now is that i don't want to put it on the wall and because there's cracks it's not very secure on the canvas and it falls off also some of the tin foil is coming through through some of the cracks so i'll show you now how it's looking one is worse than the other so let me quickly show you so this is the one that's worse so as you can see it's fully lifting um but some parts are fine like this part is fine and then this bit quite a bit of cracks this is probably the worst bit it's fully lifted and you can see the tin foil and again here second one isn't too bad like there's cracks but i feel like it still looks quite secure like it's very secure to the canvas so i did a little research and i am going to try filling it with multi-purpose polyfiller um i bought two tubes i wasn't sure how much i'd need it says if there's a big crack to kind of layer it up so i'm going to do the big cracks first so they can dry whilst they're filling the smaller cracks and then i'm going to go back to the big cracks to try and fill them in a little bit more um so yeah i'm gonna do this now i didn't actually get one of those scraper things that you're supposed to do, use um filler with because it's not a flat canvas like obviously i feel like that's for a wall you use the scraper to fill it in so i'm gonna use a knife instead because i don't want to scrape it all too much because obviously the clay is there so yeah that is what i'm gonna do now i know my camera is really testing me i've literally had it back a week I just dropped it on the tripod there. It's broke again. It won't shut. So I'm sorry that the quality is now like this. I'm so annoyed that it's broke again. Like how, why does it break so easily? So yeah, I'm gonna carry on on my phone and I'm just so annoyed now because I know it's gonna take another two weeks to get back. But we'll, hopefully it won't, hopefully it won't. Let's think positive. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna carry on with the canvas. It's also going wrong, but you know, we're gonna stay positive. My trusty iPhone is in the tripod now and I'm going to do the filler. Okay, so I've filled in one and this is how it's looking. I am gonna go back to these bigger gaps, but I found them quite hard to fill. Um, in terms of like the little cracks, I feel like they were quite easy. Done the second canvas now. This one was a lot easier to do. I did find as well as I was going along, it was easier to just do with my finger rather than the knife. So this is it so far. And then I've tried to go over the first canvas, but I am struggling on the bits where it's lifting. I was hoping I could just add more filler in, but filler doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. So I'm gonna leave this to dry. And then when I get back, I'm gonna sand over it and see how it is then. And then potentially if it's dry enough and ready enough and I'm happy with it, I'm gonna paint over it. So yeah, stay tuned. If not, I'm gonna paint over it on Monday. So today's Sunday. Hello, it's a little later on in the day now. The filler has dried. So plan of action now is I'm gonna sand. I got this sanding block from Home Bargains and I'm gonna sand it down just so I can like make it a little bit smoother, but I still obviously want a bit of texture. So yeah, just gonna sand it down now and then try to paint it. This one has dried fine, so I feel like this one will be okay. I am a little bit worried about this one still because this it's still lifting and I feel like in an ideal world, I need more filler, but I don't wanna wait another day because I feel like I've been doing this project now for a week. So I kind of just wanna get on with it. So we'll see. Now this is probably the worst section. The rest of it isn't too bad. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> I've sanded them down now and what I'm gonna do, get a vacuum just to get all the bits up. Can you see all the bits on them? So we can see what it looks like and decide whether it's ready to paint. Okay, so it's a lot later now. I am actually watching Love Island in the background, but the canvases have been sanded 
and I hoovered all the bits off and now I'm about to paint them. So I'm gonna paint the whole thing plain white, then I'm gonna sponge the white paint and I'm hoping it'll create like a bit of a texture. Obviously hide all the little faults I've got on these canvases. This one is still the better canvas after I've added filler and sanded. This one is still the problem child. I have actually super glued these cracks down just so they don't fall off when I hang it up. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna paint over them now. So one coat on the canvas is done on both canvases. Um, I'm now just using this sponge with the paint inside. But I'm gonna do that tonight, let it dry, see how it is in the morning, and hopefully it's ready to then hang up on this wall. So I think I'm finished for the night. I have painted it all and done the sponging. So it has like a nice little texture. It's not the best light scene because it is quite dark. Um, so I am gonna leave it and see how it is tomorrow. Hello, it's now Monday afternoon. This canvas, the paint has dried and I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna put that one up in a bit. And then the problem child is still being the problem child. So it's still lifting, but it does feel quite secure. I am currently just using a spirit level to measure up the wall. And then I bought these from Amazon. As they're suitable for jumbo canvases. So I bought two for each because I am a bit worried that it's not gonna hold the weight and I just want it to be extra secure. So yeah, I bought two for each. It says it can hold a weight of 2.2 kg. So I'm hoping it holds them. So I'm just measuring up now and then I'm gonna add these onto the canvases and hang and hope it stays. Hooks are on now. I just need to wait one hour and then I will put the canvases on. The time has now come for me to hang the canvases. I'm a little bit nervous because they don't seem that stable to hold a canvas, but I've done everything it says to do. So let's try and Oh my God, it's held. I'm still a bit scared it's gonna fall off, but the first one is on. I actually really like it. Right, okay, let me put the other one up now. I'm just gonna pause this filming because the other one I'm gonna film on TikTok and I need this phone. And they're up. No, I love them. So I'm gonna show you now what it looks like. <coughs> right, I'm not gonna show you because one has just fallen off. I knew that would happen. I felt like the sticky things just didn't seem that sticky. I am very happy to say the canvases are now up. I actually put them up last night, but I thought I'm gonna wait a night until I actually video just in case they fall off in the night, but they didn't fall off. They're still standing strong. In the end, I actually used nails. I bought this kit from Amazon and yeah, I just had to use nails. So now I know how to use polyfiller though. I'm just gonna then, when it comes to moving out, I'm just gonna take them, take the nails out and fill it with polyfiller. So I will leave the link to the nail kit that I got in Amazon, from Amazon. It was actually relatively simple that once I actually got it. Um, so yeah, they're up and I love them. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like it, please comment and subscribe. Thank you.